Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at another concept in calculus called the rate of change. What is it? What's the definition of the rate of change? Well, the rate of change indicates how fast something is changing. Now, that could be the distance, the volume, the pressure of something. It could be any number of things. So you're asking the question, how fast is something changing? That's what we mean by the rate of change. It determines what is changing with respect to something else. That something else could be time, radius, height, or so forth. So how fast is the volume changing as a function of the radius, for example. So that's where we always look for something is changing with respect to something else. And it can be expressed in two ways. We can express it in terms of another variable, or it can be expressed in terms of the rate of change of another variable, or a combination thereof. So when we're looking at how fast something is changing, it could depend on another variable, it could depend on the rate of change of the other variable, or it could depend on a combination of the two. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, it requires a derivative. A derivative, by definition, is the rate of change of something, or how fast something changes relative to something else, or how much something changes relative to something else. So if we take, for example, an equation that describes the position of something with respect to time, and here we can see that's equal to t squared plus 4t plus 16, if we want to know how fast something is changing with respect to time, in this case, how fast the position is changing with respect to time, we take the first derivative of that position with respect to time, which by definition is the velocity, which means the velocity is the derivative of the position, and when we take the derivative of that, it will be equal to this. So we can clearly see here that the rate of change of the position with respect to time is a function of time itself. Give me some time and I will tell you how fast the position is changing. Or we can look at an example over here where we have the gas equation, the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, and T is the temperature. N is the number of moles, and R is the gas constant. Let's say for a moment that the temperature is constant. We call that Boyle's law. That means that the pressure times the volume is equal to a constant. Or the pressure can be written as a constant divided by the volume, or the constant times V to the minus 1 power. If we now want to see how pressure changes with respect to time, we take the derivative of that equation with respect to time. When we do that, we get the following. When we take the derivative of this with respect to time, we get minus 1 times v to the minus 2 power, but also times the rate of change of the velocity or the volume with respect to time, because we have to also take the derivative of that variable v. So then we can say that the change of pressure with respect to time is equal to the minus constant over v squared times the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. Which means that in this case, the rate of change of the pressure depends on both the volume and how fast the volume is changing with respect to time. So that's how we can define what we mean by the rate of change. And we're going to look at some examples to help us clarify how exactly we apply that in various situations. And that's how it's done.